What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode. I'm your host, Janero Anguillo, and today we're going to talk about how to rock your drip. I know I do a lot of videos. I don't really show my face and stuff like that. So what I decided to do was show y'all how I rock jewelry because you can have some tight jewelry on, but like the drip looks whack because of the way you wear it. Now, this is strictly my opinion. I'm not knocking nobody on how they wear their jewelry or whatever the case may be. This is strictly how I rock my jewelry as a man in his 40s. Um, I just feel like there's a different way. You can't, you know, look at the rappers and see how they rock their jewelry because they're rocking their jewelry almost like a costume because they're doing a music video or something like that. So I see a lot of young guys, that's what they do. They rock their jewelry like the rappers rock their jewelry. And that's cool if that's your swag. Everybody had their swag. I had my swag when I was coming up in the hip hop era and, you know, stuff like that. But I just feel like in reality, so your jewelry won't be clicking and clanging and doing all type of crazy stuff when you're walking. You, you know, it's just that, like I said, that looked good in a video, but in reality, it's just like, man, come on. So, as you can see, I got the rappers here. You know, they all iced out the ones known for wearing the jewelries, you know, money bag, yo, Meek Mill, Rick Ross, and stuff like that. So, I am going to do a video on how to rock your drip, and this is strictly my opinion. All right. So, uh, please subscribe to my other YouTube channel, Janelle and Gullo, right there. Please. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Janelle and Guillo. I greatly appreciate it on my other YouTube channel. Please listen to some of my music. Put something on your playlist uh, that you like. I am on all music digital streaming platforms. That's how you support this channel, uh, believe it or not. And um, we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to show you guys my pictures. Okay, these are pictures that I've posted on my social media or took or whatever randomly. And I'm gonna show you how I rocked it and what I wore when I rocked the piece of jewelry. And hopefully I'll be able to tell y'all where I got the piece of jewelry from. So here's you see, I have a velour jogger suit on and this was like in the winter time and I got um, the North Face hat on and I have a very heavy Jesus piece right there from Golden Guild is gold. And I got the uh, chain from Amazon.com. It's gold over steel. So you can check out the Golden Guild Jesus piece. So when you're rocking something like this, you want a more heavier piece because your clothes are more heavier. And I believe that chain is roughly about uh, 26 to 30 inches long. Okay. So you see, I got it buttoned down. I'm going to zip down a little bit. Uh, now, this is when I wore a very heavy gray sweater right here. I got this from Ice Bros. Shout out to Ice Bros, man. They have a very, very heavy Jesus piece you might want to check out. Not the hollow one. It's one that has a solid back and it's very heavy. Because my sweater was heavy, I went out to a five-star restaurant and the chain is very heavy. As a matter of fact, that chain was like, I think, a 14 or 15 millimeter uh, thick uh, chain. So you want to rock that when you want to rock something, you know, heavy. Now, here I'm trying on clothes. As you can see, yeah, brother showing off his muscles or whatever the case may be. <laughs> but... Let's say it's 90 degrees outside and it's hot. You don't feel like nothing around your neck. I got those from Mr. SFC. It's my Horace Falcon piece and a Jesus piece that I got from hiphopbling.com. And they're very small pieces. And that's probably like a 20 to 22 inch small chain around my neck. And those pieces are probably like a half inch tall, the actual um, pendant itself. Now here's me and my lady right here. We got a, uh, I wore a heavy jacket. It was very cold outside. I remember this. And I wore a heavy jacket and I had on a button up shirt in this particular picture. And I wore my golden gilt Jesus piece with a 26 to 30 uh, inch long chain. And the piece is heavy. So when you're rocking something like a big coat like that, you definitely want to have a heavy piece. So this is like a semi heavy piece. It's not as heavy as the Ice Bros piece. Okay. So once again, here's the, as you can see, golden gilt, it has my is one of my favorites because I feel like with this kind of piece, the goldengill.com piece, you can wear that with something heavy and you can wear it with a t-shirt depending on the temperature because when it's, when it's cold outside, you know, you want to have your piece to rock over your heavy clothes and you can wear this with a t-shirt. The Ice Bros is kind of heavier, not even kind of, it is heavier, but this is another jogging suit and this is more of a cotton jogging suit. So as you can see, I got my hoodie zipped up and it was still, I was still able to rock that semi heavy piece that I got from goldengill.com, the Jesus piece. Now I got on a button up. Okay, here we go. 26 to 30 uh, inches on the um, chain. I got a Cuban link right there. A chain that fits into the goldengill.com uh, Jesus piece that they have. And I'm able to rock a button up and I put it over my button up as you can see. And I 
button down my shirt about two or three buttons so it can show my chest a little bit so it, you can have the Jesus piece actually shining. I got that same piece right here with this sweater I have on right here. Now this sweater is a light sweater, okay? So that's me and my dog. The sweater is not that heavy. I'm rocking the same piece here. So when the sweater is not that heavy, it's not too bulky, you can get away with rocking a, 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 the solid piece like the goldengill.com Jesus piece and it could be like semi-heavy. It don't have to be too heavy. You still can feel comfortable with it without feeling like it's something real crazy heavy around your neck. Now, when you rocking a polo like this right here, you want to get like a 20 to 22 inch chain. I got this from King Ice right here. And as you can see, it's shorter because I'm wearing a polo top and you can see the Jesus piece even if I tuck that in a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like it's extra ghetto when you got it out sometime. But sometimes I want to rock the piece out, I uh, lower the button, on my polo, I got my lacoste shirt on. And then even if you tuck that, you're still able to see the Jesus piece because the chain is so short because you still want to rock your piece and let people know you, you know, you stunting a little bit, right? So here's another picture right there um, that uh, I got on. So you can see it when I'm sitting down. You see, I got the t-shirt on under that. You know, it's kind of a little cool outside, but it's still good enough for, uh, you know, um, a t-shirt underneath and a, and a polo top but you, you can see when i lay back and sit down people can see my jesus piece and it's kind of tucked in a little bit so you got a choice between tucking me in and pulling it out when it's that short the chain is that short so here once again when you're rocking a t-shirt i just want to show y'all this me and my chicken coop right here um uh, i should say my 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 my, my, my brother-in-law's chicken coop um you know i got on a golden gill jesus piece right here now as you read that's why this is my favorite piece because you can rock this with heavy stuff and you can rock this with the t-shirt you know the sweaters and the t-shirts you can go back and forth but if the sweater is too heavy you want to go with that ice bros jesus piece and this is the feral piece from goldengilt.com right here now when i'm rocking a t-shirt and i don't feel like quite rocking the semi-heavy jesus piece from goldengilt.com they got a pharaoh's piece in the picture frame um that you want to check out the the, 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 the king tut uh, charm and it's light but it looks heavy and it has a solid back i don't like hollow backs okay because the wind blowing now your pendant is blowing in the wind so this is actually an excellent piece to wear with any t-shirt um i've actually rocked this piece with t-shirts more than i've rocked the jesus piece because the jesus piece like i said is semi-heavy and sometimes i want something to look heavy but i don't want it to be heavy around my neck i almost want to forget that i got the chain on and people compliment you and I'll be forgetting I got my chain on, right? And I got a, a, a Franco uh, chain with this piece right here that I got from Amazon.com to match that gold over steel. Um, and I think it's 18 karat gold. So, you know, that this King Tut piece, the bomb. And you can rock a long chain with this or you can watch a short chain. I chose about the 26 inch chain right there. I want to see this going around my neck. So I thought I'd just give you guys my swag on how i do things and you also can see that i'm wearing the um i'm rocking the uh the uh cuban link from um aparo you might want to check that out uh the dragon uh cuban link chain which I, is very detailed but it's light okay it's light it looks heavy but it's light very quality jewelry aparo has dot uh, com so the dragon cuban link bracelet you might want to check that out so god bless y'all excuse me i think i said chain bracelet okay all right, I'm not going to bore you guys with more pictures. I, thank you for tuning in, but I just had to show y'all the swag, the drip, and how to rock it. And that's how grown men rock it. In case you want to know, this is how grown men rock this the jury to me. Conservative, not too much. You know, I ain't got a whole bunch dripping around my neck trying to overdo it. Because you go into regular places like the grocery store to get your hair cut. Like when I took this picture, I went to go get my hair cut. You know what I mean? Like, I want to show everyday wear okay with this this review okay this is everyday wear all right this is we're not doing a rap video you know um or nothing like that so you know i want to give a more realistic approach of how people will rock their jury and you ain't got to worry about you know uh the, the, the fugazi stuff going on and the pieces that i showed y'all they look like fully plated pieces because remember all gold is plated there's no such thing as solid gold piece so when jewelry stores say that they lying it has to be mixed with another metal because gold is too soft so keep that in mind so people who say you got on fake jewelry you could basically tell them to kiss your ass because all jewelry is fake it's all about how much gold is in something and if you take care of your thinly plated jewelry properly it'll last you a long time god bless everybody y'all stay tuned peace